Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Not Just OK TV. My name is Rennie, and today I have the great privilege to get to talk to the most talented, Mr. Ade Kunle Gold. I don't know about Mr. Talented. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I don't know about that one. No, definitely. Just call me Ade Kunle Gold, that's fine. <laughs> Ade Kunle Gold, thank only because he says so. <laughs> How you doing? I'm well, thank you for it's asking. like I should interview you instead. I'm flattered. <laughs> I'm a huge fan though. Thank you very much. I'm honored. I'm a, I'm a YBNO fan. Oh, I'm actually part of the family. Yeah? Yes. A little are bit. You, are you the princess? <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. Not yet. So let's ask you. But how are you doing? Awesome. Thank you. How are you enjoying your tour? Um, first day was great. Like, it was amazing. And like, I'm looking forward to more. Uh, and then, I mean, I've been chilling with pretty cool people and then, mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to just be on stage to sing my heart out like I've always done right. everywhere and then get all the girls screaming <laughs> and the guys jealous. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Talking about tour, I saw the um, YBNL UK oh, concert yeah. that was crazy. You guys sold that, that was out. A man. That like, was it was a big one. Congratulations to y'all. Thank you very that much. Was huge. I mean, it, I'm, I'm honored. Like I'm, I'm so happy that I was part of that movement mm -hmm. because. Um, we did last year we did three thousand, now we did over five thousand. Wow. So, That's a good way to kick off yeah, yours though. No, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about the album Gold itself? Um the album Gold, uh, I wrote it for two years. Wow. I started writing since uh, May, June two thousand and fourteen. Wow. And then I although, although I didn't have a name then. Mm -hmm. So I was just writing all the songs, I was writing my experiences. I had like um I didn't have like I, I won't say I had, I had like a direction, mm -hmm. but I was just writing whatever comes to me then, yeah. Um, I'd written Oriente before Shadi, Beautiful Night before Shadi, Friends on before Shadi. Mm -hmm. So, but I said, okay, let me drop Shadi first. That's a cover. So, yeah. and then when I saw the um, response that people really liked it, yeah. I thought, okay, it makes sense. Let me drop Oriente. Then pick up was never in the cut. Like that, that happened wow. like much after. It happened like June 2015. I decided, okay, I'll write about it, mm -hmm. and I dropped it in December 2015. So. Uh, um, it, it, it was a, like a crazy process for me mm -hmm. because I was waiting to feel something before I write, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the ones that I felt in the past, I wrote them. And the stories that I've heard from people, I decided I'll write them like Fight For You right. and a couple other songs. So and then um, when, I was, when it was time to release the album, I didn't know what to call the album. So I was talking to my friend, Zara, and then she said, um, why don't I call the album Gold? I'm like, that's cheesy. <laughs> then I took the, my confusion to Twitter and everybody said good. I was not like, Zara, it's be like, <laughs> we're going your name. So you all have. <laughs> I know. Wait, so, and then eventually, gold. I don't know, when, when, when I now settled for the name gold, mm -hmm. everything I felt like, okay, I think this is gold, mm -hmm. really. Okay, let's just drop it now. And I'm happy we're here now. I think it's very befitting because there's not one bad song on the album. Like, no, you're flattering. Oh no, 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 no! Really, really. <laughs> Every song is good. What's your favorite song? If um, you have one. Before the album, to be honest, it was Oriente. I really, really I really love for some performing Oriente, mm -hmm. like on stage. But I think I messed it up by dropping the album because now I don't, I don't. You know. don't have a favorite one? I don't know. There's no celebrity. There's, there's I will call. There's, yes. there's friends on some. A couple songs now that I, to be honest, I don't know. I, I think know. we go through phases too. Because yeah. Every time one is hot, you know, I love that one. But yeah. every song is really good. Thank My favorite right now is Friendzone, you know, because yeah. it's epic me because, out, because you know. That. <laughs> it's epic me out a little bit. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your tour. Yeah. Where, what city are you most excited? Um, first. I, I didn't see uh, the love that I got uh, from Maryland. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, I didn't see that coming because the promo was so short. Mm -hmm. And then, but people are not blaming. People are not saying, uh, why do, you, why do you use a smaller venue? I'm like, ah, okay, that's a big one there mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was full. It was like it was packed. I'm excited about every place, like every state on the on the um, schedule. Um, we're going New York. We're going New Jersey, Dallas, Indianapolis, Atlanta, and Houston. I done Maryland already, so and I'm I'm really excited. It feels good. This is my first time like doing something like this in, in America. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm kind of used to London to an right. extent. America. I need to know okay how much people love me here. Yes. And from um, Maryland, I think that's like a pointer. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Most definitely, we're excited. Yeah. Can't wait to see you, in Dallas. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about what to expect from you after the tour? Oh yeah. Um, 
working on collaborations that I don't, I don't want to disclose yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm hopeful that um, it pulls through. And then a couple videos, I mean, I'll be dropping more videos now, more singles. And then I'll be announcing like bigger deals very soon. Okay. I don't want to say everything. Gang, 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 gang. So you said while writing your um, album, it was kind of different stories and different yeah. things that you were going through at the time. Mm -hmm. um, what producers did you walk, work with? Um, like six. I um, worked with um, Oscar, mm -hmm. um, Sheikis, which was my friend. Mm -hmm. We used to be in the same band together, The Bridge. Before I broke out here, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's that's not exactly how it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then um, there's fields, of course. Mm -hmm. There's um, Slickamo. There's um, Mastercraft. Mastercraft produced track 16 mm -hmm. and Sweet Me. Is that 15? Yeah, some Sweet Me, yeah. And then um, there's B Banks. Okay. So six producers. Do you have a uh, favorite to work with? Um. Not really, it depends on the sound that I want. Okay. So, I mean, I, I tilt to one person um, because of what I want. So, mm -hmm. no, no, I don't have like a favorite, but of course, they are all fantastic. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then, um, um, it took, like I said, it took two years. And then, I was, I wrote some of the songs while driving. I wrote, so, like, I wrote Paradise while on the plane. I was going to Abuja, and then the captain said, um, we were, we were 24,000 feet above the ground and the first line that came to my head was a day high in the sky and I then and I added everything right <laughs> so I mean and then like fight for a friend was talking to me how about how he liked a girl mm -hmm. but she had how she was with somebody else and so he felt like he needed to do something I think that's why your music is so real that's why everybody can connect with it and yeah, it I, I, I feel like if you're telling me a story in, in, I need to at least to an extent yeah understand what you're saying I think that in the industry right now it's really hard for people to make like meaningful music and I think that you do it and you're so successful with well, it I'm the only one I mean I, would have I mean yeah <laughs> but like it's not very everybody's making like boom 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 I mean this is this is my this is what I know best to do so right. yeah I, I might as well just do very well okay. so but I all, all the songs on the album most of them, my stories, mm -hmm. yeah, and then the others, like, like the one I just told you about, fight right. for you, mm -hmm. and then um, I recall was just, I, I was probably on Twitter, and then somebody said something like, "Guy, you don't need to brag, you know." Mm -hmm. So I don't brag about it. Yeah. <laughs> so work, same for work. Work. Somebody, somebody on Twitter said, "I want a sleeve tattoo, but I don't have money." I'm like, then guy, work. <laughs> right. and, I, and then pick up happened to me mm -hmm. when I went for a gig. I couldn't park inside because I didn't have like a very big car mm -hmm. because I was using Baby Boy back then. And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, God, man, I need Range Rover. I'm like, you know what? I can sing about this. Right. So it's interesting how I wrote all of the songs. It's so relatable yeah. too. Cause and I wrote Shadi while driving, mm -hmm. Oriente while driving. Um, driving is like your thinking time. Yeah, I mean, because I get to play, maybe just play random music and mm -hmm. then. It just comes from, just comes to my head right. then and while I'm traveling when I'm while I'm in the air so I'm like I'm always doing because I think I think that's that's when I have my alone time right. to think about okay so what's the experience I want to talk about and stuff yeah, okay. So. okay so can you tell us about um semi mixing your oh, album? yeah she uh, all of it or? she did um everything except Shade everything except Shadi. Yeah, Shadi mm -hmm. was mixed and mastered by Vitek. Okay. Yeah, and um, Sim was amazing. She she did like a lot of work. They, we we had times that we thought about some songs like mm -hmm. like No Celebrate. I think I I remember I recorded the song like three times. Wow. I recorded like um, Fight for You like three times and like I don't understand. <laughs> how can you tell me that this mic is so bad? So she's a perfectionist. Like, this is this is like the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. No, how can you tell me this is the best thing? Try again. Like, okay. Wow. Okay, then we. That's awesome, though. Yeah, we, but no, I'm, I'm happy that we went through all of that because it turned out to be great. Right. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell us why you only featured one artist on the album? Yeah, uh, because um, when I was writing all, all of these songs, so I feel like I need to hear somebody mm -hmm. to put the person in my song. It's not enough to just say, okay, I want collaboration with somebody. No, it is, there needs to be a synergy of some sort, there needs to be a connection, mm -hmm. there needs to be the story needs to need the person. You get so, and while I was writing all of the songs, and the only person um, that came to my head when I was writing No Forget was mm. Simi because Aww. of the texture of her voice and then the sound. We kind of have like similar sounds somehow. Is that the only reason? Um, yeah, okay, you, you sound confused. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know, I just wondering, you know. <laughs>
Just like okay, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Know. No, we like, like, we don't know. Relate. We don't know. What are you telling me? <laughs> We don't know. Okay, um, so you didn't want to add Bado in there for us or anything like No, that. no, that's that's why I you know. It's Let's coming soon. Later. Okay, no, uh, I no, no stress. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was on Kesh's song. Okay. So yeah. it's not like there's anything there, but that's keep true. for later, yeah. Okay, no, I like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking Thank to you for us. Having me. Appreciate We're you. going already? Yeah. Why? We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep talking? I mean, I like talking, but yeah, we need to go. <laughs> we need to pay music. <laughs>